Welcome to Textile Bites, where it's all about textile. In this video, we will discuss about the unwinding process and see how a winding machine works. Winding is the process of transferring yarn from small packages like hanks, bobbin, spindles etc. to a large package such as cones, perns, cheese etc. to make a package containing large considerable amount of yarn. Important parts of a winding machine are bobbin or small package, yarn tensioner, which gives the required tension to yarn for winding, auto sensor, which detects the yarn tension and brings about the changes in yarn tensioner so that a constant yarn tension is maintained throughout the winding process. Also this sensor may detect yarn faults like thick and thin places, knots etc. and helps correct it. Winding drum, which carries out the winding motions to win the yarn on the larger package. Lastly is the cone or large package. Manual winding machines, the small packages are joined together using manual knot. Also when the yarn is spliced or is torn, then the yarn is joined by hand knots. For more modern machines, the splicing and joining of torn yarn is done automatically by the machines. Winding is done too. Empty the bobbin. Make a continuous supply of yarn. Remove the thick and thin places of yarn. Remove the weak places in yarn. Remove the nets in yarn. To remove knots in yarn. To remove slabs in yarn when it is not required for decoration, not done in case of slab yarn. The parameters to consider during winding process are winding plate or drum speed is the speed with which the winding drum is rotating and is measured in meter per minutes. Winding diameter. It is the diameter of the package we require and is measured in cm. Traversing velocity. It is the velocity with which the yarn move back and forth to do the winding and is measured in meter per minutes. Angle of winding. It is the angle in degree the yarn is laid on the cone or large package. Package velocity. It is the speed with which the package rotates and is measured in meter per minutes. Yarn tension. It is the tension that needs to be maintained in order to make sure that the yarn is large package is not too tight or too loose. It is measured in newtons. A good winding machine should have the following properties. Faults in yarn should be reduced to an acceptable amount by the winding machine. The yarn should not be damaged by the winding machine. Winding process should be carried out at high speed for higher productivity. Knots and splices made by the machine to join the yarns must have sufficient strength and stability. Winding process should be economical. Winding package made by the machine should not be too tight or too loose. Thank you for watching this video. To get detailed notes, please visit www.textilebytes.blogspot.com. The link is given in the description below. Please comment what other textile related tutorial videos you like to watch. And also please comment if you want to discuss anything related to this video. If you like the video then please subscribe and give a like on this video. To get a continuous notifications please turn on the notification icon. Meanwhile please check out other videos in Textile Bytes. See you all in the next one.